I traveled far and wide, through hills, over mountains, searching for answers. Though the journey was rough, in the end, I found what I was looking for. I was searching for the secrets of Weldy Sheep. Through my travels, I found a remote house. After poking around the headquarters for a little while, I figured out that there were three major phases to creating Waldy Sheep. Phase number one, questions. Phase number two, judging. And phase number three, torture. In phase one, I learned of how the questions for Waldy Sheep were created. Hmm. These are sheep questions. You have any good ones? Oh, yeah. Name your favorite toe. Good call. Apparently, there is more than one person running this operation. That brings us to phase number two, judging. And what I found was shocking. Yet, it somehow seemed like we knew it was going to happen all along. Let's see here. All right, hat. Lots of people have hats. Jack Jr. had a cap. What do you guys think, judges? Yeah, I, I agree. It's different. A beanie from Ellie seems good. We'll merge that one in for sure. And that brings us to the third and final stage of Weldy Sheep. Torture. Apparently, all along, it was never a plan to have fun or to get together. It's not like a global pandemic kept us from having a family reunion, so we came up with a silly way around it. No, there was a deeper meaning to this. Torture. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I figured out that apparently Kevin has been trying to work his way to us running Weldy Sheep, the participants, and then for us to pay him taxes, for us to be his servants. This was his plan all along. He slowly, things got harder and harder. He even made me do the intro. Wait, am I doing the intro right now? But then I looked even deeper and I found but all along, there's really been one person running Weldy Sheep. Willow. I thought it was just a dog, but... In conclusion, sheep, it's not what it seems. Don't trust anybody. Don't listen. And with that, have a fun, wealthy sheep. See you next time.